Welcome pilots, my name is Hybrid V and what I got for you today is something quite special and that is an assault on a raft cargo transport and her escort. Normally in game you rarely encounter major combat when in a cargo ship, barring the occasional PvP or looking for a fight and the random Aurora pirate AI that spawns in to plink at your shields every now and then. Other than that, you never really get to see what these ships are capable of in an actual fight and that's what we intend to put to the test in today's video. You see, most folks tend to scoff at non-combat vessels due to how slow and cumbersome they can be in a scrap. But rest assured, a well-trained crew and escort can really give players a run for their money compared to a solo piloted ship with no assistance. In this scenario, we have two teams, attackers and defenders. The defenders must keep their transport alive by fending off and defeating the attacking team, either by routing them or destroying them. The defenders will automatically lose if their escort is destroyed or the raft is disabled. The goal is to steal the cargo so the attackers will want to avoid destroying the transport if they can help it. They can still steal cargo from a destroyed raft, but they will lose most of it in the explosion, cutting into how much money they can make. The fight will take place on Hurston and her thick atmosphere. Now, if you've ever been in a scenario where you have to flee a fight in atmosphere, you know the easiest way to escape is to simply climb out of atmosphere and quantum away. But in this scenario, the defenders have a problem. They have a non-functioning quantum drive which makes escape much harder and limits their options. So they are forced into a fight. And what transpires is some of the most incredible white knuckle PvP team on team fighting where the battle pitches back and forth as both sides are jockeying for advantage. My role here will be to fly my beautiful Talon with her laser cannon loadout as my goal here is to harass the transport and try to disable it while my two wingmen deal with the escorts and keep them off me. The Talon is perfect for this role as she slices through atmosphere like butter, making her a sight to fear for crewmen caught in this scenario. Alright, let's get to the action. I'll see you all at the end of the video for some final commentary. Enjoy the action, and I'll see you soon. Now the raft is shaped like a brick, but it's much lighter so it can move faster through atmosphere, so expect them to break off pretty fast. Let me know when you guys are excellent here. Quantum travel complete. Sure, are you headed towards them, Vinge? I think my signal just disappeared. Uh, this was the last known location, about 23k away. Copy that. Uh, doing some pulses. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm dying. Hybrids on station. Where are you fellas at? Found them, found them. Found them, copy. Moving towards your position. That's in K-Way, I'm gonna try to maintain that distance until you guys are close. Copy. Burning. I see your direction of travel, I'm gonna follow it. Bird Gang's got the speed, moving up. I ain't going right along. Yep. That's in K-Way for pace. So if she's back with ball, follow that. I'll try to keep in mind. Eyes on the raft. Eyes on Ace. He's gonna. He looks like he's trying to stay low. Ooh, he might be trying to stay on the deck because uh, the it has a top turret on it. So if he stays in, yeah. So that so it's hard for us to zip past. Okay, eyes on uh, that escort. Janshir on station with an arrow. And there's Chozo in his glad again. Yep, hybrid is in 10k with it. I'm about 6.4 now above them. Let's go. Let's go. Hybrid's on a diving approach. Copy, I'm burning past him to get shields back. Failure. 
Coming in for another attack run on them. His rear shield is uh, almost down on that raft. Good hits. Hybrid's diving in on target. Rafta does have a lot of health, so even if its shields are down, it has a good deal of health. I have a planet spot by. I want that sure as well. I'm staying out of their turrets field of fire right now. I'm underneath them. I am going to try to take one of their engines off. Copy. Raft's shields are down. Come on, come on. Get me an engine here before my shields go down. Oh, yes, I got it. Yes. I took one of their engines off on the raft. Breaking off, though, because my shields are low. Come around for another attack run. Copy that. The raft is missing an engine, so she's pretty she's pretty stricken right now. No, uh, Chozo's still around. Oh, yeah, I got some Chozo. Why do you Copy. Breaking off, because uh, shields are up. Going back towards the raft, because they're trying to pull away. Yeah, I can see Ace is struggling with that missing engine. Talon's not missing a wing. <laughs> Ooh, he's clever. This is being clever with the thing.
Rear shields are low on that raft, coming back in for another strike. Diving in on the raft again. Locking missiles onto the raft. Box two. Breaking off. Getting my magazine charged. Rear shields are very low on the raft. Going to try to strike it. Kellner, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Just so I went into a hit on this one. <laughs> I don't know if you need backup. Copy that. Venge and Kelnor switch to the raft real quick. Let's try to do an alpha strike on that shield. Once its shields are down, I can do a lot more damage to its engines and strike it. See how he's spinning really bad? Because his engine is heavily damaged. Hit it with everything you got. Good hit on that EMP. Good work on the MP. They're putting their gear down. Everybody has to break off. Down the ground. Copy that. Keep hitting her hard. Down, yeah, watch that. Watch the turret. It's still pretty uh, dangerous. I'm down. Copy that. Attack on shield. And he managed to flip the cover of A 
coming back around onto the transport now. They're back up in there. I'm going to try and knock out that left engine. Coming back around again for another tag. I got Chozo on me though. Their shields are slowly coming back. You want to hit it with another EMP Venge? Yeah, I'll try. It's literally a good fucking balance after one after another. Attack on shield. No worries. We could focus on taking out Raven, but uh, my cannons are not going to be very good against it. Flying a missile on Raven. Missile out on Raven. Yeah, it did. It took down the rear shield. Hitting their hole pretty good though. As long as we keep doing damage to their shield, keep it down. Grapex doesn't have a shield. Doesn't have a what? Doesn't have a shield. Rental temple does it? I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Grapex doesn't have a ship rental temple does it? Oh, ship rental? No, unfortunately not. You got Chozo? Copy. I'm gonna stay on the transport. Box 2 on the transport. Come on him. He's pulling away. Switching back to transport. Is Winchester on missiles? Did some good hits on their shields. Gonna do another attack run. How are you doing with Chosen? Copied. The rear shields are low. Getting dark, it's gonna be tricky. Hybrids engage with Raven. Shields are low. He's trying to pull back. Man, 
cannon. It's so hard to use with cannons. Yeah. I lost six. Oh, chewing them up. Go down, you... Go down! I will end you! He's down! <laughs> God damn. God damn. That is so hard to do. And there you have it. The attacking team wins the match by knocking out the defenders, which forces a surrender from the raft, transport, and its crew. These type of scenarios are a blast to put together as they let you experience Star Citizen when it's firing on all cylinders since currently we don't really have any PvE or PvP type missions that force these type of fights. Yes, we have Jump Town and Ninetales Lockdown, but those are both in space and on moons with low gravity and trace atmosphere, so they may as well all be in space all things considered. And while we can do bounties, for example, on planets to get a similar effect, we never really have missions where we have to attack, say, a C2 or a raft against the AI piloting those or anything of that sort. Nor are there any missions where you have to yourself with a transport blockade run in a dense atmosphere location against hostile enemies, which would be cool because it would require you to actually use gunners and have escort fighters. Unlike, say, Ninetales Lockdown where it's in space, so all you have to do is just fly at high speed and you really don't have to deal with anybody, even if there are PvPers there. On planets like Hurston, Microtech, and Crusader, the entire meta gets completely upended as the superior fighters now move like molasses in the dense atmosphere, making them sitting ducks for escorts and turrets, and this shifted power dynamics makes for some insanely fun gameplay. Okay folks, that's it for me today. Really do hope you enjoyed today's combat video, and if you would like to see more just like this, please leave a comment below what you would like to see next, and we'll see if we can get that done next time in the FH. If you did indeed enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like as it really does help out the channel. Alright folks, until next time, fly safe and I'll see you all in the black.